This question was asked in Gate Electronics and Communication 1994 A plane electromagnetic wave is traveling along positive direction It has its electric field given by Ex equal to 2 cos omega t and Ey equal to 2 cos omega t plus 90 We are asked what is the kind of polarization Now since we have Ex and Ey components we need to check for polarization in the xy plane that means we have to look for the locus of the resultant vector to be precise locus of the suppose let's say we have the x plane x y plane like this we have x here and y here suppose the resultant electric field is like this e okay now to find the kind of polarization we have to look for what is the locus created by the tip of this electric field vector as time progresses okay. at some some point in space we will look for what is the locus created by the tip of this electric field vector now it is given an xy plane so we need to look here at the xy plane what is the locus created as time progresses okay now we know the wave is traveling towards positive is a direction that means let's say the wave is coming towards you now as time progresses since the electric field is a function of time in the xy plane the resultant electric field also varies with time now we need to check what is the locus created by it let's say the angle of electric field is constant this angle is constant and the amplitude only varies that means the motion as we look from here will be around this line if it varies only in its magnitude now if the resultant electric field also is varied in the angle phi because if phi is also varying then it can create an ellipse or a circle or something like this okay it depends on how the tip of the electric field moves along as time progresses so that's the only thing we have to look for now in this case we have ex equal to 2 cos omega t and ey equal to 2 cos omega t plus 90 now let's write that here ex equal to 2 cos omega t so we need to find out what is the resultant magnitude and phase as t varies to find out what is the locus now ex equal to 2 cos omega t and ey is 2 sin sorry 2 cos omega t plus 90 now cos omega t plus 90 can be written as minus sin omega t so we have got our ex and ey now we will look for the resultant that means the resultant electric field square will be x square plus e y square okay from this we can find it out as 2 square cos square omega t plus 2 square sin square omega t so what is its value we have 2 square into cos square omega t plus sin square omega t so that is 2 square that means the electric field magnitude this is the magnitude we are talking about electric field magnitude is 2 also per meter now what is the information it gives that means the magnitude is fixed at 2 volts ok so we can just clean this a little bit that means the magnitude is 2 volts and 2 volts per meter will remove the unit for now this is the tip here to look for the motion of this tip as time progresses now we have found out the magnitude now we will take a look at the phase so phase will be tan inverse ey by ex that is equal to tan inverse of 
Ey is 2 cos sorry minus 2 sin omega t and Ex is 2 cos omega t. Now sin by cos is tan so we have tan inverse of minus tan omega t that is equal to minus omega t. So tan inverse minus tan will be minus of omega t. So we have minus omega t. This means as time progresses or as time increases the phi is going to decrease. That means as time is increasing the phase is going to be more negative. That means it is going to move in this direction. We have as time progresses. So as time progresses this angle is going to decrease or means it is going to increase in the negative direction and this is the kind of locus it is going to create. Now we have found out that this is a circularly polarized wave that means the locus is creating a circle. Now we need to know whether it is left circular or right circular. Now to find the direction we need both your hands first try placing the thumb of the left hand in the direction of propagation of wave that means let the thumb face you okay now roll the fingers so, so your left hand fingers will be pointed in this direction so this is left circularly polarized suppose it was in the opposite direction let's say it was in this direction then you have to place your right hand with your thumb facing you follow direction it will be right circularly polarized so from this it is clear that if the wave is coming towards you then clockwise means left circular and anti-clockwise means right circular this is the case when the wave is coming towards you Just remember that 